Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect. As we left off, we had just finished taking out the Crime Lords, as per mentioned by Helena Blake. So, now it's time to make our way over to the Citadel, now isn't it? We've got at least a couple of things that we need to wrap up there now, anyway. So, let's head on through. It's been lovely. Over to the Citadel. Yes. And as we arrive back at the Citadel, of course, we get that lovely little cutscene as well. This is actually very lovely altogether. It is. While this is most definitely sci-fi, and obviously, there's no denying that, there's actually still a sense of fantasy about it, too. There is, in fact, actually a sense that there is some kind of fantasy epic going on here. It's a classic tale on top of the sci-fi elements. Alright, going over... Alright, I don't think I'm going to need to unlock anything. That's a good balance, and I'll take Garrus with me for a change. Or... Yeah. I just like having Caden nearby, okay? Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer Sir, is ashore. Sure. Exo, Exo Presley, Presley has, has the, the deck. deck. How's it going, Garrus? I used to have an office here. Spent half my time doing paperwork. And that's Garrus's new armor, by the way. And we're gonna get banter. After years of poor economic performance, Exogeny has announced that its research colony on Pharos is finally returning a profit. New discoveries and a dedicated colonization effort have finally paid off for Exogeny. Exogeny's stock rose sharply with the announcement, with investors pleased at this surprising news. Uh-huh. Yup. Pretty much what I expected. I wonder if this guy has anything new for me. Just while I'm in the area. Hello, Commander. Show me what you got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. Hmm. Mercenary. Interesting. And I've already got a bunch of stuff that's better than what you have to offer, so... Don't need a bunch of these... Alright. I don't think I need a bunch of these. Definitely don't need that, or that, or that. Or that, 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 or that. Mm, I'll hold on to that for just a sec. Alright, anything else that I can part with here? Uh-huh. Don't need the ablative coating. Uh. But actually, that does remind me. It has not only been a while since I've uh, 
Significantly more damage, though. Alright. Ursa. Ooh. That... That works. Okay. <laughs> now that I've wasted your time with that... By the way, my obviously my definition of working is... Uh, that it doesn't clash horribly in terms of vision. I'm sure that the Phoenix armor is great, but it, the fact that it's all pink gets under my skin. I just can't take it take armor seriously if it's pink. Your biotic skills are extremely impressive, Lieutenant. I rarely see anyone with your level of ability. I've always held back a little when I use my powers on living targets. Fear of hurting someone, I guess. Hmm. But after what I saw on Eden Prime, I'm not holding back anymore. Not against a Geth. Not against anyone. Huh. Except he's lying. Except he's kind of not. But yeah. He's always been holding back. That much has been the truth. Alright, let's find this Helena Blake. There's Avina. And another Avina. But where is. Where do I find Miss Helena Blake? Okay. Well, I'm gonna make my way over to the Citadel Tower. She was in the market district, wasn't she? Hmm. Let's head over that way. to the financial district. I don't know, could I have said that with any more contempt? Hello, Dorian. Or did she say that she was going to be in the embassy quarters? So that probably just made that pointless. Well, whatever. Let's go meet up with the guy that we wanted to go meet up with. Presidium location and the Citadel Tower. <sighs> oh, there's Emily Wong. Hello again, Commander. I've got a proposition for you. Do you? Since you helped me get information on the crime syndicate, I've gotten a lot more backing from my publishers. I'm investigating traffic controller conditions now, and I wondered if you could help. That seems like a step down from wide-scale corruption. Actually, in a way, it's more important. This isn't about people getting rich. This is about safety. Hmm. I've heard rumors that the space traffic controllers are overworked to a dangerous degree. I can't get into the control room, but you could. If you planted a bug inside, I could crack the story. If you crack this story, what's likely to happen? Ideally, there will be calls to improve working conditions by hiring more controllers and upgrading systems. The Council won't pay for improvements voluntarily. This story will provide that pressure. Hmm. What will this bug allow you to pick up? Just audio and video. I'm not trying to tap into the traffic control system if that's what you're worried about. I just need to hear and see them in order to correlate their activity with traffic efficiency. Everyone knows space traffic controllers are overworked. How is this news? There's a difference between overworked and dangerous. 
Traffic at the Citadel has increased by 300% in the last century, but traffic controller resources haven't kept up. Hmm. We already have several last-minute wave-offs per week. <laughs> Do we have to wait for a full-blown disaster? This bug you want me to plant, could it interfere with traffic signals? Absolutely not. I made certain that the frequencies it uses won't interfere with anything. I can't promise anything, but I'll see what I can do. Give me the bug. Hmm. Excellent. Just place it on a terminal with a good view of the area. Thanks again for your help. In the long run, this story is going to save lives. Yeah. Yeah, I, I believe that. I like Emily. She, she means so well. And now to bring the unfortunate news to this guy. Any news? Did you find my brother yet? I found your brother's body. His ship was attacked by privateers. Willem's dead? I guess I should have expected this. When his ship dropped out of contact, I just knew. But I kept hoping he might still be alive. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you for finding him. It's better to know one way or the other. That's what they say, right? Hmm. Please excuse me. I need to go make arrangements for his funeral. Yeah. Not too many people have free access to the tower. Even less get permission to meet the council. You sure have to climb a lot of stairs to reach the All council. Right. I think that's supposed to be symbolic of their importance. All right. What I want to do is go back and use the goddamn trans transit again. But yeah, knowing actually is a lot easier than not knowing. Some people would would have you believe that not knowing at least gives you the hope that things will will turn out okay. But not knowing means that you can almost assume that they're not alive at the same time. It can actually hurt quite a bit more to hope at the same time that you're certain that they're dead. Schrodinger's depression, maybe? I have no idea. Now, didn't she say she was going to be over this way? I forget. It's actually been quite a while. Where is Helena Blake? Okay, not helpful. Where is she? Emporium in the financial district. What's up, floaty lady? Honestly, this just kind of pisses me off. Why is she not on my map? Not your weapons, that's not good. This would be easier if she would just, you know, pop up. Or show up where I'm expecting her to be. But no, no, I have to try and freaking hunt her down. So I've always encountered her around here. She's not out here, however. I'm sure she actually told me last I was supposed to know. Alright, this has already been taken care of. Obviously this is not where I need to go. Did she say she was going to be going down into the wards? Is that what that was? 
At the very least, it's always good to tour the uh, facilities once in a while. Just brought Levon in there. Let's try Cora's den. Sorry guys, I'm sure that many of you are going to be yelling at the screen right now. She's in blah blah place! What are you doing? Where are you going? Why aren't you going that she told you it was over here? Yeah, it's probably also been over a week since... <laughs> or even a couple of weeks. Huh? You say? c -Sec always turned a blind eye to what went on in here. I think Fist was paying some little off. I'm guessing she's not here. Making... What the fuck was that? Did something just drop from the freaking sky? I... I must be losing it. Boards, locations... Let's go to Flux. Don't care about you, Mr. Salarian. What do you have to say, Garrus? You almost never see any keepers in this club. I guess they don't care what happens here. That or the music keeps them away. No conversation this time, guys? Okay, not down there. Jenna. Okay, where the fuck is Helena? I'm gonna be pissed. Especially because I've just wasted your guys' time with all of this shit. Okay. Sorry. I couldn't resist that. She, where would she be? Why are you crouching at the wall, Garrus? I guess I'm traveling down to the markets, but that doesn't make any sense. But I'm going to be trying... got an idea, and I wanted to run it by you. Conrad? I got a lot going on right now, but I can spare a moment. Great! This'll just take a minute. With so many human colonies being attacked, I'm not sure that one specter is enough. What if you signed me on as another specter? <laughs> no. Conrad, I don't think that's a good idea. But I'd make a great specter. I'd be right there with you, showing the council what humanity is capable of. I know you're afraid to trust people after losing your team at a coups, but I'd never let you down. Let's talk about trust, huh? What about your wife, Conrad? She trusts you too. Aren't you letting her down? What? I, I don't understand. Uh, what? <laughs> you know what keeps me going out here? Knowing that people back home are keeping humanity strong. You... You're right. I just got so caught up in all of it. I wanted to help. I'll go home. Thanks for setting me straight. You're quite welcome, Conrad. <sighs> it lasts for all of five seconds, doesn't it? That lovely epiphany that he just had. Yeah. Yeah, I, I doubt that he's, uh... 
taking it seriously enough. Okay, it's more land that goes into... I have no idea where the fuck I'm supposed to find Helena Blake. I'm going to be reviewing. Arg. But in the meantime, I apologize, and at least we're seeing, you know, more of the Citadel and exploring it as we go. At least there's that. Now, I'm not expecting to run into her here. Check in with Dr. Michel. I need those supplies for my clinic. I can't. You huh. can and you will, or your story won't stay secret for long. Don't disappoint me, Doctor. Oh, Commander Shepard, I didn't see you come in. Every time I come in here, I see someone threatening you. Who was that? Someone from my past. I can take care of it. I might be able to help you. I was fired by my previous employer for giving out free medical supplies to clinics like this. They never filed any charges, they just wanted me to leave without any fuss. But somebody must have found out. Now they are blackmailing me. I have to give them what they want. If the board finds out about my past, I could lose my license, they'll shut my clinic down. Maybe I can get you out of this. Tell me what they want. I have to give some of my medical supplies to a merchant in the markets. They expect delivery today. Give me your contact's name. I'll deal with this guy, whoever he is. Deal with him? But won't they expose my past? I'll make sure they don't tell anyone. I was told to speak with a merchant named Morlan. Morlan? I really appreciate this, Commander. Thank you. You're a doctor. How did you end up here my on My parents. My father. I chose to keep the medical tradition alive, but not Let me take a look at what of you course. Does she have anything else that I may need? No, I already bought everything I needed from her before. I never needed any Metagel, so... Alright. So, another good reason to keep coming back to the Citadel every once in a while. It's a door that won't open. Although I admit, I would hope that she would, uh, have mentioned the fact that Garrus was with us. I think it's pretty established, or pretty well, yeah, pretty clear that she has a sort of crush on him after he kind of saved her. Oh, Muzak. Oh, wait. Hearing about the Protheans makes me wonder if some distant civilization is going to find our artifacts someday and study us. All empires fall, Lieutenant. We can only hope that what we leave behind inspires respect and admiration. That's true. Anything that indicates that this is where I need... What? What? No. The shell's there. And there's another jazzy version of existing pieces. Of work. What do you say we head down to Korra's den after the ship? Sounds good. Some of the others are going for Nobio's farewell thing. Damn, I forgot that was today. Where's he going again? Novaria. Apparently, they've got a huge demand for corporate security. 
Novaria? Isn't that the frozen planet? Yeah, uh, I wouldn't go, but I guess the pay's pretty good. Huh. Hmm. And on that note, I'm actually out of time for this installment of Let's Play Mass Effect. Next time, hopefully, I'll actually know where the fuck I'm supposed to be going, and I will be proceeding in that direction. Hope to see you then!